Hey guys, I had a recent question related to monk fruit and stevia and erythritol and xylitol. Which one's the best? Which one's the worst? So let's just talk about these four sweeteners. Uh, monk fruit um, and stevia and erythritol all have a zero glycemic index, so they will not increase insulin. Okay. Xylitol on the glycemic index is 30, so it's low, but it's still a little spike. If you consume this one in small amounts, it should not be a problem. Now, I do use xylitol for a lot of different recipes simply because it really tastes just like sugar, okay? Uh, stevia has a little bit of an aftertaste, but this is really good in things like, um, like flavoring water and carbonated water to make like a soda. And it's good in certain recipes. Monk fruit also has a slight little aftertaste. It's really, really sweet, so you don't need much of it. But both of these are very similar. They're, they kind of give a little bit of an aftertaste. They don't really taste 100% like sugar, but they're good in certain recipes, but not in others. I don't really use this one as much. I use stevia a little bit more. Now, erythritol um, doesn't have the aftertaste, but it definitely does not taste like xylitol. It has more of a, a, a cold taste a cold, sweet taste. But I still use this in recipes because it's great to combine this maybe with this or these two together and to have the, uh, the right balance. Now, the other point about erythritol is sometimes it's made from corn, which is GMO. So you wanna make sure this one is non-GMO, okay? Same thing with xylitol. This, uh, you want this from birch bark um, and non-GMO. And if you're actually chewing gum, uh, make sure it's xylitol gum and don't worry about it interfering with your intermittent fasting. It's not gonna bump you out of ketosis. It's such a small amount. The gum that you don't wanna consume is the gum with aspartame. You wanna avoid these artificial sweeteners. These are sugar alcohols and this is a fruit and this is from a plant. So these are totally fine. There's a lot of other sugar alcohols and natural sweeteners that you can do, but these are the common ones right here. Between these two, I found this one tends to give people a little more digestive uh, problem. if consumed in larger amounts. This one can uh, be as well, but if you're having small amounts, it doesn't seem to be a problem. But when you start making these keto bombs or these recipes, boy, it just tastes so good, you wanna eat a lot of it? Well, then you'll start getting some problems because they can act as a laxative or give you gas. And sometimes you'll hear this idea that if you consume anything sweet, whether it's monk fruit or stevia, even though it's zero calories, it's still gonna spike insulin. I've never had a problem with that. I never see a problem with that. I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks for watching. Hey, I appreciate your attention. And if you're enjoying these videos, go ahead and subscribe and I will definitely keep you updated on future events, live events, and webinars that we're gonna do very soon.